Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols, how to identify them. Um, this is um, a really, really important skill because it leads on to the different reactions of the alcohols afterwards. Alcohol groups can go all over the place. They can go on the end, they can go in the middle, and then go right in the middle, tucked in with lots of other different functional groups. We call these primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. They react differently, and you need to be able to identify them. So this little one that is sitting on the end here, this is a primary alcohol group. Now we can work this out by looking at the carbon that it is attached to. Because the carbon that it is attached to has two other hydrogens. This means it is a primary alcohol. Looking at this one up here, this is a secondary alcohol. Now we need to look again at the carbon that it is attached to. And the carbon that it is attached to only has one hydrogen attached to it, the rest of them are carbons. This makes it a secondary alcohol. And then we have this one up here. Again, we need to look at the carbon that it is attached to, and that has no hydrogens attached to it. It is only attached to other carbons. That makes it a tertiary alcohol. Now, sometimes I might use annotations like this. This just stands for primary, secondary, and tertiary. So here are some for you to have a go at, A, B, C, and D. I'd like you to pause the video and try and work out for yourself which ones are primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. So let's look at A here. If we look at the carbon that it's attached to, it has one, two other carbons. That makes this one a primary alcohol. B, Looking at the carbon that it's attached to, there is only one carbon that makes this one a secondary alcohol. This one here, C, looking at the carbon that it's attached to, there are no hydrogens attached there. So that makes this one a tertiary alcohol. And then D over on the end here, the carbon that it's attached to has one, two other hydrogens attached to it, making it a primary alcohol. You also need to be able to work out from the name whether something is primary, secondary or tertiary. So if something is a one, it is going to be a primary because you know that the functional group is right on the end. If we have functional, the alcohol group not right on the end, but it doesn't look like there's anything else attached, it is going to be secondary. And you'll notice here that this number and this number are the same, telling us that in 2-methyl butan-2-ol, we have a tertiary alcohol. because the alcohol is attached to a carbon which has no hydrogens attached to it. You also need to be able to work this out from the structural formula and this easiest way to do this is by drawing things out or you can start to learn a few patterns. So if we look at the first one we have methanol And that is a primary alcohol because there are lots of other carbons attached to the hydrogens attached to the carbon that it is attached to. Primary. The next one is a secondary alcohol. And we can say we have CH3 over here, carbon, this hydrogen, the OH group, and then another CH3. This is secondary because you can see the carbon that the hydrogen alcohol is attached to has one other carbon next to it. And then we have a tertiary alcohol. So up here we had one hydrogen making it a secondary. Now here there aren't any other hydrogens really close to it. Which tells us we are going to be looking at a tertiary alcohol.
Now, when we oxidise primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols, lots of different things happen. Let's start with the easy one. We can't oxidise the tertiary alcohol, so there's going to be no reaction. When we oxidise a secondary alcohol, we are going to get a ketone. And when we oxidise a primary alcohol, two different things are going to happen depending on how we heat it. If we distill it, we are going to get an aldehyde. And if we reflux it, we are going to get a carboxylic acid. I would expect a student to be able to look at an alcohol and name and draw the aldehyde, the carboxylic acid and the ketone that came from it. I'm going to do another video explaining this in more detail.